Hello and welcome back to the only game where you can uh, ride around on dinosaurs infused with magma energy. It's uh, Ark Survival Evolved. As you can see, that's exactly what we're doing here. So, I was just doing some resource gathering and some maintenance with the uh, Anki that we just tamed up. And uh, this happened. Here, I'm going to have to go get something to show you guys. It happened right outside. Uh, long story short, we have a crime we need to solve. Don't worry, it's not a murder. It is, however, a case of assault and battery. I'm, I'm gonna show you. It's like I, I wasn't plan, planning on filming uh, right now, but as soon as I saw that uh, this was happening, I'm like, all right, I need to get this. <laughs> I need to get this recorded before I hop off. This is gonna be great. Let's refill my water, even though I don't need to. Now, assuming it's not... Nope, it's fine. This poor, this poor... This poor woman has been beaten bloody. And someone in this meadow is responsible. Hey. You know anything? No? Okay. Uh, you might be wondering about the... Okay. Alright. Please do not eat all of my food. Uh, all right, we're gonna need a name for the Carno, but until then, it's just gonna be the Carnotaurus. I'm never gonna use this Carno, but at least I, uh, I wanted to tame it up real quick. Um, also, with the, again, my heightened, ch uh, training? What? My heightened tame settings mean that that happened almost immediately, although I don't know how long she was KO'd for. Now, all joking aside, I can tell you ex almost assuredly what may have happened here. This guy right here, uh, excuse me, sir, you're a criminal, and unfortunately, as a, as a fellow civilian, it is not within my legal authority to arrest you, uh, and I'm not going to perform a citizen's arrest on someone who can knock me the, knock me the hell out uh, for disagreeing with him, so you get off lucky, but, um, uh-oh, what's going on over there? Got the 140 Rex just there. He's, he's just having a time. He's having a good time. Um, okay. But yeah, back at it. What probably happened was the Carno came and attacked the Packy. And the Packy uh, proceeded to uh, engage in glorious battle. And did the Carnotaurus enough torpor damage to knock it out by headbutting it. Which is fine. Um, ooh. I don't want that Rex getting that Ovis. That red Ovis right there. Uh-oh. I don't think I get a choice. I'm out of here. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I need to go let my cat out of my room, so I will get back inside where it's safe and go take care of that, and I will be right back. And then we'll get on to what my plans are for the day. Or for the episode, anyway. Do -do. Okay, this should be good enough. Alrighty, we're back. I had to let Charlie out of my room. Uh, that's that right there is a, a classic example of why I play single player. I have a lot of traffic in and out of my room, in my house, and you know some some people consider it consider it rude to t to look at them and tell them I'm sorry I can't pause the game. It doesn't have a pause option, which thankfully single player does have a pause option. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> That, that's uh, that's what we do. The other reason, as admittedly, why would I play on, on quote-unquote multiplayer settings when I'm not playing multiplayer? Um, and honestly, if, if I have any... Like, it's not a gripe with the game, but on official servers, I don't know what it is, but with few exceptions, uh, no offense to anyone, but the community can be kind of trash. Like, I don't know how I feel about it at times. Okay, put these guys down here. Ooh, put these guys down here. And that's not me 
uh, calling out anyone who watches these videos. It, it's like, I think it's less of a, um, of an individual mentality and more of a group mentality is what I think the problem there is. But, you know, you, you live and learn. Um... I have had experiences that were both good and bad in official multiplayer servers. Um, Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Had a little bit of a sound issue we had to work on. Again, great reason for, uh, sing for a single player right there. I can just pause the game and go deal with it and not have to worry about anything bad happening. Um, and I understand part of the appeal is the stuff that can happen when you're not around, but at the same time, if I'm the only person playing the game, what difference does it make? Oh, I forgot to show this off. <clears throat> uh, this right here is the, like, some of the tables from the Castles, Keeps, and Forts mod. I think that's what it's called. Uh, if it's not, please correct me. But yeah, you use these and you make the various tiers of equipment that you can make. Uh, I'm probably not going to be doing that a whole lot, at least at this base. When we get to my permanent one, um, <clears throat> that's probably when I'll do that. In the meantime, I have, uh, as I stated in the last video, I was going to go back and remake my arrows and uh, deal with that problem so we would be able to go and get everything that we need to... Do I have that? Oh, I have a net projectile? What? When did this happen? Okay. Well, I guess I have one now. Keep going the wrong way. Oh, ow. Whew. Uh, Got everything I think I need here. So, here's the game plan right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish um, my gathering with this Anki. And then I'm probably gonna take us out and hopefully go find a, uh, a, a, do a dodic. There we go. I also said that I was gonna hatch hatch up some eggs, and that is going to be part of the plan, but we'll get to that later. Can I carry this? Yes, I can. Is that a little bit OP? Yes, it is. <laughs> but it makes my life easier, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> get in there. Do -do -do. Okay, that should do it on metal for now. Other reason I have some of my gathering settings turned up the way I do. Um, say what you will, I don't want to spend hours and hours grinding for resources. I'd rather get to the fun stuff. I'd rather get to the... Like, I know that that's part of the survival game. That's part of the survival aspect. But for the sake of filming, especially this... I want to be able to get my resource gathering done relatively quick, bleh, quickly and hop into it. And yeah, it's, that's important to me. And it's like when I'm playing on my own for the survival aspect, that's, you know, that's probably what I'll do. But that's not what I'm here to accomplish right now. Okay, Fabby. Okay, I have to do that in the smithy. Or the, the, yeah, it's the smithy. Okay. Even though this is not a smithy as much as it is a crafting table. Okay. I'm going to just have a sip of my coffee there. It's uh, currently 8.20 in the morning. <laughs> I'm not up yet fully. Where is this at? Structures. Crafting. No, I don't need 50 fabricators. This is not Factorio. Uh, if you guys want to see me do a playthrough of that, I might do that at some stage. Definitely not going to be any time in the future, though. Um, again, as I as I alluded to in the other... in Okay, where am I putting you? Uh, can you go here? Oh, yes, you can. It... Uh, uh.
It does not clip through the wall. Does it clip through my bed? <laughs> no! Alright, cool. And you need gasoline to be activated? Alrighty. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Another reason I love S Plus is I can do this. 100. Pull. Oil. 50. Pull. And now we can sit back and watch it make gasoline. It won't make very much, but it'll make some. I think it'll make about 10, which is about what I need to get this puppy operational. Okay. And as I said, uh, please feel free to leave, leave a comment if you want me to change the name of the Yankee. I will gladly do so. You know, just give me name suggestions. I'm all for it. I, I gave it thought earlier. I wasn't going to do it, and I'm like, I'll do it with like, with breeding. But considering I don't know how many of these animals I'm ever going to breed, um, we will do some. Uh, yeah, that, that was my primary concern. Okay, I'm going to make a few more arrows and possibly another bow. Making drugs. Okay, what is what is going on over here? Well, I guess that uh hopefully my guy is yeah, he's still here. Okay, good, good, good. I really need to make a magnifying glass is what I need to do. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna let nature take its course, which of course results in these guys getting killed. I get some free chitin. That is one trick that no matter what difficulty or, or settings you use, you do learn with survival games. And that is, pick your battles. Pick them wisely. Which is what this gentleman over here is most definitely not doing, but it's probably not going to matter because Rexes are busted. Like, I don't understand how this animal can handle that kind of punishment that is deep, that it's taking right now. Oh, we got a level 150 Velanosaur, and uh, keep an eye on that for future tames. Now, what I do understand about the about this situation is that these animals, like the Rex as a carnivore, heals up whenever it eats. So, it is able to basically continuously sustain itself every time it makes a kill. And since it is so good at making kills, that is a problem. Okay, he's not unglitched yet. I honestly don't know what the deal is with this. Hold on, I'm actually... Go oh, I heard another scorpion. Alrighty, um, this is, yep, we are recording, good. Uh, so, real quick, this guy right here, as much as I want him, he is bugged, like, he is glitched, um, so, and I don't have a magnifying glass to check his torpor, he, he will still respawn if knocked out, like, that will still happen, but, uh, at, basically at this point, it, the game is bugged, showing him he is... That he is on his feet, but he is not. And there's not a terribly high amount of things I can do about that. Wow, that is... That is a pretty iguanodon. Whoa. Damn, good looking. What's cooking? <laughs> he didn't like that. <laughs> okay. So, oh, in the world? Uh-oh. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, hey, hey, hey. Oh, boy. 
Uh, well. Oh my goodness, this is turning into a very dangerous place. Um, and I also just realized I don't have my Mejo Berries on me, but it's okay because I have my Berry Gatherers to get me some. So that's not going to be a huge problem. But I'm thinking, I'm sitting here doing a think, and I'm wondering... Like, and I, I'm going to second guess myself quite a bit. You're going to have to get used to that. Okay, we can't do that yet. That's okay. We have soul balls. Should I go after an easier target? One that is not glitched. Because I really don't want to use my, my polymer, my one net gun that I have. Find out it won't work. Um, which is what I was doing. I was looking to see, A, was this thing glitched, and B... Will me shooting the net gun at it snap it out of that glitch? <clears throat> and the... From what I... I cannot determine that at this time. So what I will need to do is attempt to knock it unconscious and find out. Uh, I'll, I'll actually give it one more Google search because I really need to know. And you can answer in the comments if you want, if it will. I'll have the answer when I come back, but... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pause here, pause this, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back, and still no solid answer. So, given the amount of dangerous things that are in the area right now, I think what I'm going to do is kind of is like just survey the area a little bit. Um, hmm. Just survey the area a little bit. I don't want to waste all my arrows or my bow again. Um, oh, of course he's still alive. Come on. This is ridiculous. As I mentioned before, this is how you do it. You want to kill something on a Tyranodon? You uh, outflank it like that. You don't want to do that, buddy. <laughs> you get the moonwalk theme there. <laughs> Just casually walking away from it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay, I got some tough and hide for that. All right, more weight. Don't you growl at me. All righty. Okay. Now back to the matter at hand. Oh, he uh, he has awakened. Excellent. Excellent. Now, we have another little problem here. We have a new enemy. Now, as long as they stay over there, I don't mind. But it is getting very dark. So what I can't do is uh, stop paying attention to that green, that faint green glow over there, because that is the Velanosaur. Okay, he's technically balled up, but I don't know, like his torpor has still got to be not great after that. Can you, sir? 
Alrighty, so uh, it still has yet to unball, but I have kind of come to a decision. I think what I'm going to do is wait till I can get Trank Darts, because it's just better. Um, <clears throat> you know, laugh at me all you want in the comments. That's fine. I probably deserve it. But yeah, no, I want this one. We're going to get this one, but it's just not going to be now. So, uh, rather than end off the video, though, with no progress, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go see if there's something else I can find around here. Maybe some more obsidian so I can make a magnifying glass at least. So we did get something done. It's just not as much as I would like. I mean, we did tame up the, the co. Oh, come on. Again? Oh, boy. All right. Well, that that's a thing. Um. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I know what we could do. Let's go see if we can hatch up those eggs. Yeah. Because like I, I got the... Whoa! Man, that, uh, that lining... Lining? Lighting glitch. The, bleh, lighting glitch, though. Yeah, let's go see if we can hatch up those eggs real quick. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long. What I think I'm going to do is uh, get back to my house, uh, pause again, and... Get my, get my thing set up to hatch them. It doesn't take a whole lot to do so. But, uh... Okay, oh, that's the wrong spot. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember it's a bit more to the right. God, that's beautiful. Look at these, like, aurora lights. And then next to that volcano. Just absolutely gorgeous. Just stunning. Love it. Love to see it. Okay, I believe this is us. Yes, it is. Still don't know where all that light's coming from. It's uh, implied to be the crystals, but I have my doubts. I don't think they could generate that much light. I did manage to uh, recover some more chitin and keratin, so that's always good. I got more Tyrannosaurus arms, more drops. So it wouldn't have, I wouldn't say that has been an entirely wasted trip, it's just not as productive as it could have been. Okay, I have 30 gas, and we're going to pull all of it. Oh, and we're going to go to, uh, oh, okay, this is the normal fabricator. All right, why is this the normal one when I have the S-plus one in the smithy for making S-plus things? Oh, that's why. Okay. All right, well, I guess we're using this one, then. Can I still make S-plus things at the, no. All right, well, that's kind of an issue. <laughs> all right that's kind of embarrassing okay so i made the wrong thing it is what it is though oh boy oh derp put that next to the hide here Yep, just clearing out our stuff. Okay, we got a lot of spoiled meat. That is absolutely perfect. Beautiful. Bring that over here. Chuck that in there. Make me more drugs. I love that that's labeled under drugs. That's just, that is... <laughs> I always get mild amusement out of that. <clears throat> okay, all the boys are good. You go up here. Okay. Oh, well, I just got a level. Okay, now. Let's see what temperature these guys need. Now, if I was being real smart about this, I would make an incubator. But we can't do that yet. So we're not going to do that. Um, right, I'm probably going to have to make some standing torches. Yeah, once I get this set up, I'm going to pause the recording because this is getting a little longer than I'd like it to. Um, okay, we definitely have the materials to do that. Okay, let's make uh, 10 standing torches and see where we're at. Oh, excuse me. Man, I really need to collect dermises when we get our full-on place going here. 
Okay, I'm going to throw these out and see what it says. See if it says it's too hot or too cold for them. Probably going to say it's too hot. Or too hot, too cold. Uh, yes, it is indeed too cold. So how hot do I have to make this? And what we're going to do is we're going to put that right there. Try to form like a little... little Now, one by one, they're going to activate. Okay, I don't think this is going to be warm enough, but I also have good fortitude, so. Yep, still too cold. Okay. So, let's make five more. This is a very simple setup for, for hatching your eggs. You could use it for, for wyverns as well. Give it a second. There we go. All right. So it says it'll be done in about 12 minutes. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to toss it down right here in the middle. And then we're going to pause the recording and come back. I'll come back when it's done. All righty. And we are back. As you can see, we got about uh, around 30 seconds left on that egg. So once that's done, I'll hatch up the other two. I'll probably do that, actually, off-camera, because this is the one I'm going to use primarily. <sighs> um, and hopefully we'll get, that, uh, we'll get that raised up. I'll show you guys a little bit of the raising process, just for those of you that don't know. Um, you have to imprint on them and give them the proper amount of food, and it can be kind of a, kind of a chore. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes here. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to fully imprint it, even though... Oh, and... Oh my god, you are gorgeous. Come here. Now, it's very important to get food in them quickly, because otherwise they will starve out. I have my maturation rates up uh, quite a bit, but... Um, Yeah, and definitely given that this is a baby, I want to I wanna see some name suggestions if you have any. Um, while we're on the topic, uh, please feel free to, if you like this content and you want to see more, hit that like button and consider subscribing. It really would mean a lot to me. It really would be appreciated and it would help me out. Um, but yes, name suggestions, comments. Gotta love that color. I'll take it out when it's fully grown and show it just to give you a better idea of what it looks like. Okay, that should do you right for now. So yeah, in, in the olden days of art, you could not, uh, you had to manually turn off wandering on babies. Otherwise, they just start like meandering around all over the place. And it was a real, it was a real fun time. Keeping track of everything sometimes, uh, just absolutely great okay here dino okay i can make it 
This is probably going to be my go-to riding mount from now on, other than the Dilo for its utility and the Terror Bird for its ability to cross massive distances. Although this does that job, but better. You can also scale up walls with it, which makes makes this lovely lady incredibly handy. <clears throat> so yeah, um, looking like... Uh, based on this so far, what? Let's see what our let's see what our imprinting is. Uh, first of all, the percentage we get. Hopefully, I can provide it what it needs. If not, I will do the old re-roll with the soul ball trick. Alrighty, we are back, and we got about a minute left, or actually now we're down to 40, about 45 seconds on the final imprint. I was mistaken, it is not two and a half minutes, it is like four and a half minutes between each imprint. Um, so that was my bad. Uh, it comes out closer to, um... <clears throat> Sorry. It comes out closer to about 16, 18 minutes, something like that. Um, yeah. 18 minutes total, which is just fine. I think uh, after this, after I take her out for a bit of a walk, uh, we're probably going to end off the episode right there. Um, <clears throat> in the next one, though, uh, hopefully we will be able to finish what I started and finally tame that. That's, uh, honestly, that's going to become a meme if this channel ever gets popular enough, is my trials with the Jodicarus. Uh, they're so useful, but I hate taming them so much. And I don't even know why there are far harder tames in the game to deal with. I just, I don't know, the, the rolling into a ball irks me. Okay, now all we have to do is wait for her to fully level up. Or level up, I mean grow up. <clears throat> You'll notice that before we cut, um, it said baby or juvenile. It now says adolescent. These, uh, when you hatch an egg or uh, a mammal gives birth in this game, the baby goes through several stages of growth, all the way from baby to juvenile to adolescent to adult. Uh, it won't say adult, it'll just say, instead of adolescent, Deinonychus, it'll just say Deinonychus. And, in, and to fully explain what imprinting is, you do a little mini game, such as taking the creature for a walk or giving it some specialized type of food or cuddling with it. Uh, and when you do, it gives it a, a buff for its for its stats, a permanent buff to its stats. So it, it's very good if you want a creature that's uh, going to be con significantly stronger than its than its kin would be than a wild tame creature. Uh, it's very good to try and imprint as much as possible. Uh, it actually did not ask for anything I didn't have, which is just fine. Hmm, excuse me. Man, yeah, so I'm just a little, a little mucusy today. But yeah, once this is fully ready to go, I think I'll take her for a spin, and uh, then we'll call it a video. I have to do a lot of editing for this one. But, uh, yeah. Great way to end off the episode. I put the other two eggs away. I'll hatch them off camera. Um, I think they're, now that I'm looking at it, they're a little too weak for me to effectively use them. But, uh, they'll do. Uh, I might use them for kibble, actually. <laughs> if we ever get to the stage where I make it. That, this, my settings, um, kind of... I don't really need kibble. 
with my settings. And that's where I think some people would take issue with my settings is that I have no need to bother with kibble. But since you can get veggies and honey and all that other stuff so easily on this map, it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference to me. Okay, she has fully matured. Now, let's show you what you can do. Okay, I know she can glide, I just don't remember how. Ah, she can also climb walls. Like that. Oh my god, look at those colors. Look at that, just pure fire. How do I glide? Or is it just passively doing it? Okay, we've got an RG over there. Dynonychus does a bleed effect, as you can see. And, um... I don't know if this is glitched. It should do, like, a little... Not a heavy glide, like the, uh... uh what's, it, what's it called? The Rock Drake does. But it does have a glide ability. <laughs> I could just stick to the side of this tree. Look at it. Yeah, definitely gonna want some name suggestions for this. This, I, I didn't, you can't, they don't spawn on the volcano, on the volcano island, but honestly, this one looks like it should have, because, oh my god, it's just, the feathers might as well be on fire. This is gorgeous. Definitely the prettiest Deinonychus I've ever, I've ever hatched. Um, at least unmutated, anyway. <clears throat> And again, you cannot naturally get it this color. At least I don't believe so. Like, that that uh, full of a red is not possible unless there's an event happening. Or you get mutations. Hmm. Alright, do I dare to try what I'm about to try? See, oh, this can also latch on to other creatures. And I'm just going to have this man for lunch. Alright, that is a 130 Dodicarus right outside the base. I may have to go for that one instead of the one on the Volcano Island. Especially because this place is significantly safer. Now. <clears throat> do I want to try and take on this alpha? It is a level 100 alpha. Okay. I have a decision I need to make. Because. I could kill that. Hmm. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot before we end off the video. Try and do something exciting here. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pause while I heal this uh, while I heal this lady up. Go use some of that uh, special meat that I have saved. Okay, I need to figure out how to glide on these. But 
But yeah, Deinonychus is so fun to use. And this one, absolutely gorgeous. Alrighty, and we are back. This video is uh, getting pretty long, though. So, I'm going to make this as quick as I can. If I can't kill the alpha, I can't kill the alpha. We're going to try, but, uh, man. <clears throat> yeah, are, we are recording. <laughs> just double-checked, just to make sure. Man, it's, it's getting dark, too. This, this is not good, what I'm about to try. Now, oh, okay. Killed that level 140 raptor. Large oof. And I lost a fair amount of uh, HP while doing so. This is not good. Alrighty, okay, so I can see the what? I'm able to do quite a lot of damage to this alpha, and I think it's getting bleed ticked, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to worry about this. If I do have to worry about it, I can easily get away. Actually, yeah, he's uh he's doing some damage. He's he's doing some damage. And he's dead. <laughs> Alrighty, well. Guess we were able to kill him. Nice. And I think with that triumphant note, that is where we will end off the video. Sir, I'm trying to end. Thank you. <laughs> this is done. <laughs> Just swat him like a fly. Okay. On that hilarious note, we will end off the video. All right. I will see you guys on the next one. Uh, once again, if you like what you see, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to the channel for even more. I once more catch you on the next one. Ka-chow!